Most people, when they want to improve their lawns, they go to the store and buy the latest fertilizer. But one thing that's often overlooked is how you handle your grass clippings. Now you can mulch, you can bag, or side discharge, but which one you pick has a major impact on the look and the health of your lawn. So in today's video, I'm gonna demystify how you handle your grass clippings and help you make the right choice to decide which one is best for you. Let's start with bagging. Now first I'm gonna talk about the good points. So bagging is a very safe method. If you've got real long grass or you've got a real mess on your hands, bagging can usually be the best method to clean it up. And if you have a lawn full of weeds, bagging is also very good because bagging is gonna remove anything on your lawn, whether it's leaves, weed seeds, sticks, or any other material. So for those situations, bagging is really the best. Anything on your lawn is gonna go right in that bag. The last plus for bagging is that it gives a really nice cut. It is gonna use most of its power to just spin that blade, lift the grass up, cut it, and it goes right to the bag. The biggest one is the fact that you've got a bag full of grass clippings or whatever else comes off the lawn. Now you've got to deal with disposing of that. So disposing of grass clippings can be a real problem for a lot of people, especially if you're in places like the city or you just don't have access on private land to dump those clippings. Side discharge is pretty interesting. It used to be the way that everybody cut their lawn way back in the 50s, and I think most of us can probably remember that image, but things have changed. So side discharge is not that popular anymore, especially with homeowners, but it is with professionals. And the main pros for side discharge is power and quality of cut. So again, think back about that mower. It's spinning those blades, and with no bag to fill, you get an excellent quality of cut because the blades are gonna be lifted up very high from that power, and you're gonna have speed because you can go very quickly because you're blasting those clippings right out. If the vacuum ability goes down, those blades won't stand up as straight and you won't get as good of a cut. And the reason is, is that a small homeowner's lawnmower is not gonna have a lot of horsepower. So if you start with a lawnmower that doesn't have a ton of horsepower and you add a bagger to it, or you decide you're gonna mulch, that takes away from the cutting power and it also can reduce the vacuum ability now side discharge isn't just for the professional, those benefits are also good for the homeowner. If you're in a situation where you're able to use side discharge, you will get a lot of power from a smaller mower, get an excellent quality of cut, and you can go very quickly. So if you've got a lot of land, or even if you don't, time can be money for you as well. So that can be a huge plus. So if you're in an area at home where it's tight or you've got a neighbor, you have to shoot those clippings somewhere and they can make a gigantic mess. The clippings fire out, they go all over the place. Now if you're mowing a field at home or you've got a large piece of property, that's not gonna be an issue and things are much better than those old mowers with side discharge. You tend to see them do a better job at spreading the clippings out. So in that field situation or a large yard, side discharge can be pretty good. Now when you say mulching to most people who deal with lawn care, it's like their eyes light up. Mulching is like the answer to everything. But the issue with mulching isn't quite that easy. But let's start with the obvious positives of mulching. First being, you don't have to get rid of those grass clippings. So if you've got a bad back or you just wanna go out and mow and you just wanna hit that mower and start going, mulching's great because you can just keep walking and going forward and you don't have to stop. So that's a huge plus. If you put those clippings back down on your lawn, they will decompose and they will feed the lawn. And that's another big plus, and that's obviously good for the environment as well because you're gonna reduce possibly how much fertilizer you need. The first negative about mulching is that you may require special blades for your mower. Now, newer mowers are coming with blades that can be used for mulching or for bagging, so that's not as much of a problem, but you can't mulch with every mower, or at least you can't mulch effectively. Mulching requires the right conditions to work well. And if you go into mowing your lawn and your lawn is too long to begin with, you're gonna have a problem with mulching because your mower has to use some of its horsepower to grind that grass repeatedly until it finally can break down and you're moving across to go to the next section to cut. If your lawn is a little too wet, when you mulch, what happens is you're gonna slice that grass and then those liquids will get spun around the mower, they'll build up on the bottom, and they'll also kinda of go all over the grass. You can't mulch effectively with wet grass, 
You can't handle it on a day where it's raining. So that can be a limitation for a homeowner. And that's usually why you're going to see that most professionals rarely will mulch. Another negative about mulching is the impact to your lawn. So in my situation, I had a very poor lawn and over the past couple of years, I started a renovation. Most of the renovation took very well, but a big thing that I changed was I used to mulch and I switched to bagging. And what I experienced was that if you have a poor lawn to start, mulching is not gonna really help you and it will make things worse, especially if you're trying to mulch a lot of leaves. So a big thing that you have to consider before mulching is the state of your grass. If you've got lousy grass to begin with, mulching a whole lot more of it, along with weed seeds and grass, might cause you more harm than good. And when I'm bagging, I can go as fast as the mower will go. If I use the mulching mode because the machine has to do more work to cut that grass, I cannot go as fast. Now I've given you a lot of details about three different ways to handle your grass clippings, but let's sum this up and see who wins. So the first report up is for bagging. So bagging's great because it'll allow you to mow in nearly all conditions. You'll be able to completely remove all the debris going right into the bag. You'll be able to mow fast and you'll get a high quality cut. And I think it's the best all around choice. Now the one downfall is you must dispose of clippings. Next up is side discharge. With side discharge, you can mow in nearly all conditions. You're gonna get some of the fastest mowing speeds. You'll also get a high quality cut. And the best part is non-stop mowing. But the one downside with side discharge is the clipping discharge. They shoot everywhere and depending on your situation, that may be a problem. Now on to mulching. Mulching can be a great option as long as you understand that you need to mow under specific conditions. That means not too wet and the grass can't be too long. You're going to also have some reduced mowing speeds, but you will get non-stop mowing. And lastly, mulching can provide nutrients to your lawn. But the one downfall is you can have issues if you don't keep a close eye on the variables. So I hope I was able to give you enough good information to make the right decision for how you want to handle your lawn clippings. Please leave me a comment below and also I'd appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up for this video and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Thanks for watching.